Today I'm going to be speaking on the murder of Erica Verdesia, who was just brutally murdered here in Davie, Florida. Eric Pearson, 54 years old, was charged Saturday for first degree murder for the slaying of Erica Verdesia, hours after her body was found Saturday in Davie, Florida. The Sunrise Police say Pearson confessed to stabbing the single mother four times with a screwdriver on September 25th. Pearson had just been released from prison in September 2020 after serving 27 years of a 40-year sentence for the 1993 beating and strangulation murder of a 17-year-old Christina Whitaker. Not to mention, before that took place, in 1985, Pearson pleaded guilty to attempt a first-degree murder and armed burglary where he broke into a Davy woman's house and cut her throat and hands with a kitchen knife. She survived, and he was later sentenced to 18 years, but only served four. Fifteen months after Christina's body was found buried under debris at a construction site in Davy, she had been beaten and strangled. Her head and face were bashed in with a rock or cinder block. Pearson, who stands six feet eight inches tall, never said why he killed Christina. Who can sit and look at the papers and look at his background and let him out. When Christina's body was found, she was so badly beaten that she couldn't be recognized. They had to take fingerprints from the family's home and match them before they could even identify who she was. Pearson strikes for the third time after he was just released last year, September of 2020, due to overpopulation in the prison. After three months of Erica's body being missing, it was finally found and discovered in the canal in Davie, Florida. Pearson's current girlfriend said that he stated if they don't find a body, they don't have a case. After him being released from attempted murder to being able to commit the first murder, then being released early from the first murder to being able to commit this murder. Families and friends of Erica said the judicial system is fucked up and needs to change, period. That all murderers, rapists, and pedophiles need to do the full term sentence. Because if so, these same women would be here today.